get to the chopper. Subscribe to first, but after that, get to the chopper. Who is the worst president in U.S. history? Ask the average American and you may get several different answers, with the responses usually falling along party lines. But what would happen if you asked a group of historians? The American political network C-SPAN did just that. They asked 91 historians to rank each president on 10 qualities of presidential leadership, including public persuasion, crisis leadership, economic management, and so on. Then they averaged out the total scores for each president and made a list from best to worst. In this video, we'll take a look at who that list determined were the top five worst presidents in U.S. history. Number five, John Tyler. After a brief period serving as the vice president, in 1841, John Tyler took over from President William Henry Harrison, who died from illness while in office. While his accidency, as Tyler's critics called him, was considered to be accomplished in foreign affairs, it was his inability to move the country socially that hurt his reputation. This was an era when the move towards equal justice for all Americans was on the rise, but Tyler remained weak on that particular issue. Economic issues also plagued Tyler with a period of depression arising while he was in office. The national debt was on the rise at this time, yet Tyler seemed unwilling to raise tariffs to a level that might help dig the nation out of an economic crisis that started building as far back as six years earlier with the Panic of 1837. There was a move to impeach Tyler in 1842, which failed, but he did become known as the first U.S. leader to have a presidential veto overridden by Congress, which came shortly before his final days in office in 1945. After leaving office, Tyler would go on to join the Southern Confederacy. Number 4. Warren G. Harding Serving as the 29th President of the United States, Harding spent two years in office from 1921 to 1923 before his untimely death from a heart attack. The list of scandals on Harding's resume is more than most politicians manage in a single lifetime. The bad blood with the American people began with rumors of Harding's affair with Nan Britton, just one of many alleged mistresses. Perhaps the biggest scandal on the Harding resume, though, is one that is referred to as the Teapot Dome Scandal. During this era, the U.S. had large oil reserves that were set aside for Navy use in the event of a military emergency. Harding, supposedly not knowing that it was illegal, transferred that oil for use in the interior. It is believed that many of his wealthier friends made large sums of money from oil profits after this move was made, which served as a real blight on Harding's name. Number 3. Franklin Pierce Franklin Pierce served as the 14th President of the United States and is responsible for creating a huge rift in the country at a time when the abolitionist movement was starting to gain ground. Franklin Pierce's time in office ran from 1853 to 1857, and it was a period that was filled with turmoil, the majority of which had to do with the legality of slavery in the country. Rather than making the move towards equal justice for all Americans, Franklin instead chose to put that particular decision in the hands of the new territories. This included the signing of the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which essentially led those for and against slavery battling one another within these territories, which became known as Bleeding Kansas. In 1856, enough of his own political party had turned on him that he wasn't even nominated to run for a second term. Number 2. Andrew Johnson Andrew Johnson served as the 17th President of the United States, coming to office after the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. He served from 1865 to 1869, and it was his stance on African American rights and suffrage that has him on the list of the five worst presidents. While Johnson ran on the same ticket as Lincoln, his views and ideals were very different from that of Honest Abe, which was something not so uncommon during the historical period. He seemed hell-bent on opposing radical Republicans who were against the old Confederate methods of doing business, and he would rarely seek to find any sort of compromise with this group. Johnson believed that the U.S. should be a white nation, going as far as vetoing a civil rights bill which was overridden by Congress in 1866. His actions led to impeachment proceedings being brought against him, and he narrowly avoided being ousted from office by just a single vote. Number 1. James Buchanan, the 15th President of the United States James Buchanan held office from 1857 to 1861. The problems from Buchanan began just two days after his inauguration with the Dred Scott decision, which stated that Congress could not exclude slavery in the territories. Word got out that the Chief Justice had revealed the decision to Buchanan prior to it going public, which did not sit well with anyone. 
Another major issue during the Buchanan presidency was the Panic of 1857, in which thousands of banks and businesses collapsed, leading to massive unemployment, most of which took place in the North. Buchanan sided with the residents of the relatively unscathed South, stating that overspeculation was the cause of the economic collapse. The Utah War was another major blight on the Buchanan presidency. Brigham Young and the Mormons had peacefully settled in the state years earlier, but Buchanan believed rumors of rebellion was afoot, leading to his sending in the army to oust Young as governor. This is just scraping the surface of all that went wrong during Buchanan's four years in office, so it's no real surprise that he is considered the worst president in U.S. history. In case you were wondering, the C-SPAN survey covered presidents up through the administration of Barack Obama. The current president, Donald Trump, won't be eligible for the survey until after he leaves office. But let's take a look at the rankings of the other most recent presidents, with number one being the best and number 43 the worst. Barack Obama came in at number 12, George W. Bush at number 33, Bill Clinton was number 15, George H. W. Bush was number 20, and Ronald Reagan was ranked number 9. The top five were Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Franklin Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt, and Dwight Eisenhower. This has been the five worst presidents in U.S. history. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more great videos.